Some teachers in the East are voicing their frustration after Pitt County Commissioners denied additional teacher supplement funding at their meeting this week. WNCT's Courtney Allen joins us live from our newsroom with those details. Courtney. Ken Shayla, the majority of commissioners voted to pass on raising teacher supplements from five and a quarter percent to seven percent. Teachers we spoke with today say this is unacceptable. We want to be the best in the East, and that means feeling like our teachers are valued and that our education system is valued. Pitt County teachers say commissioners denying their request for an increased supplement makes them feel unappreciated. It makes us feel like the community doesn't necessarily value what we do. Lauren Piner with the Pitt County Association of Educators is one teacher pleading with commissioners to increase supplements. We feel like that's a really great way to recruit and retain teachers here in the East. Um, even though we have East Carolina University in our backyard, um, only about 15% of those students that graduate actually stay in Pitt County. She says a supplement at 5.25% is causing the county to lose talent. It's not just people leaving for the bigger cities. We also have a lower supplement than places like Craven County, Edgecombe County, Wilson County, Nash Rocky Mount Schools. Nine on your side contacted the Pitt County commissioners who denied the request, but none were available for comment by airtime. County Manager Scott Elliott says while commissioners did not approve of the additional supplement, they are funding 100% of Pitt County Schools fixed costs requests. The county's responsibility is basically brick and mortar for schools, maintenance costs and, and utilities. Out of the Pitt County Schools budget request, we currently give them about, about $39 million a year. They asked for a $4.4 million increase. It was recommended for a $1.1 million increase. They're only going to give us 25%. And that to me says we don't value you. We want to be the best and the brightest in the East, like we say we do. This is really step one, is investing in that. Piner says the supplement she's currently receiving isn't even enough to cover her student loan costs. She's encouraging everybody to contact commissioners between now and June 4th, which is when the budget will be finalized. Live from the newsroom, Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.